So Akote and Mr. Mosh have broken up. Akote through her Instagram account announced that she has been going through a lot. And she also thanks people who had supported her and those who did not support her also she had something to tell them um akote and mr omosh as she likes to call him uh, got into relationships uh, last year and i remember that there were a lot of fights within her family and even outside the family she had to deal with a lot uh, regarding her relationship i remember she came out and said that uh, her family are trying to just sideline her because she feels that um, her sister was getting married at around the same time that she was getting married. So she said that uh, her sister felt that she was trying to take her, uh, her shine away from her. And she said she, because of that, she had to postpone her wedding to a different day. She had put the wedding to be in December, but she postponed it to April just to be safe and she says also that there are bloggers who came out and tried to destroy her saying that mr omosh was married to a different woman and uh they some bloggers tried to say that um mr omosh was after her man and akote of course tried to defend her man then she had put out in fact she warned a lot of bloggers not to dare speak about her relationship lest they will give they will have to be taken care of by being taken to court and having to pay a lot of money. She said she does not give a damn who you are and what you do, but what she cares about is for you to stay out of her love relationship and that she's going to sue anyone and everyone who tries to speak about her relationship. She also went online to say that her family is, um, is you know, just her family is trying to to sideline her just because of her relationship with Omosh. Let's just uh, see what she had to say. My younger sister was having a wedding as well. Omosh wanted to bring cows in December and I told him to hold on because December we are having another a wedding. I didn't know that time we had wrangles with my sister and she's the only one, she's the one who's always crossing my line and I've always been waiting for her to come and apologize, which never happened. So I was waiting for my sister to come and tell me, okay, uh, you know what, let us put our um, indifferences back. I am sorry. The only word I was waiting for to her to realize that she's really hurt me to the core and all I need is her to uh, realize that she's hurt me and to say sorry, it would have ended there. I think she convinced everybody that there was no wedding. According to what we had, I think I have voice notes here that there was no wedding. I just want to spoil her wedding. Remember, we are not marrying the same man. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. we are not even the same village. So how was my uh, me announcing my wedding in April would affect her wedding, which was happening in December? I just wanted people to put dates so that I don't interfere because we get us. We are organized people. White people are organized people. So that, this is what she had to say yesterday about her her breakup. So she had said, allow me to thank everyone that prayed for me in silence, everyone that walked me through the journey. I had come out of a very dangerous zone and I've been healing in private. I'm on my second month of therapy. The trauma I went through after finding out the truth and some ugly stuff that went, uh, that left me shaking. Went for days without food, no sleep, questioning and answering myself. It has been very heavy. Some days, a night will just break into a day with me looking outside the window, guessing at nothing. Mm -hmm. I will be shaking for no for reasons I can't explain. I just remember I still have to work to do, a family and an, an empire to protect. I still have to put a strong face and entertain my fans. I thank all my close friends, family, especially my children, my mom. Beatrice, Chanelli, Okello, my best friend Nelly Ox, Pielo, Vijay Adams, for being part of my strength. I would not have done it without you. Nelly Ox, it's been a speed dial. He will call me nonstop and will panic when my phone went off. My children equally, especially the girls made. Allow me to go through this. And once everything is okay, I am stable enough to talk about it, I will be back with good news. We are fixing some stuff off camera and I have made a decision. I don't want to hurt anyone, not even you reading this. 
not at all. For those who love me, keep me in your prayers. I have also I have also always wished to do good things, but bad things but bad ones show themselves. My mom read a Bible, a Bible verse for me. I thank her for the motherly support too. Then she said something in Lua and, and then she continued, God bless you, mom. Let us pick work and work. Let us now think on how to transfer the money in our head into our pocket. I love you right back. Good night and happy new month, my people. As I sign off, please take care of your mental space and thank you. I thank, thank God you can still see my posts. Yep, guys. So unfortunately, uh, Akote's relationship is that the real reason behind it, it, it's not known, but there's a lot of speculation. Some are saying that this man came to just use her money. Some are saying that this man has a family somewhere and was just playing around with Akote's feelings. Yeah. So tell me in the conversation, did you see the red flags before? And do you think uh, this man, what do you think the reason behind that breakup is? I know with time we're going to know about it. Just keep it here. We'll let you know. But for now, you're up to date. Goodbye for now.